everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. We have some news on what's happening with the current uh, gen, the newest one, Denoth. Uh, it seems like they had, they not only were the, the lowest numbers so far, in Niji EN, so far, of any generation popping up and doing their thing. They were the lowest number so far. And uh, to start off with, as I showed in another one, they were like 16k of a normal, like of, uh, of average, when pretty much everyone else had like above 20k or more. In their original, even TTT, which wasn't supported very much in Crisis as well, they all had much better, much better things popping up. And now, of course, I want everyone to know, this is not a... a dogging on the talents themselves this is not saying that they're horrible not saying that they are bad uh talents that they're they're bad vtubers that they haven't done what they needed to do that they haven't entertained people nothing of the sort the main thing is they are part of an organization that is not good it's not doing well pr wise it's not doing well supporting them it's not doing well overall so they are part of a bad organization right now and that is what's causing them to drop now for people like i, I tried clicking this and i wasn't able to freaking get the numbers in, in originally but here you go the numbers of ryoma is 968 and 534 for clara it sucks for them because they've been, they they're probably very interesting a lot of these people everybody works really hard to do their content but because of the fact of the organization they're a part of yeah that kind of hits them hard uh negatively unfortunately it says thought it was crazy couldn't view viewership numbers only two girls can be saved by catering to JP. That's what people are thinking. Sky basically just watered down version of Niji and male bait for Fujoshi. Too bad Clara killed her EN momentum with JP Satsu almost immediately. It's not going to look good to investors. Um, so much for the love, support of Niji's sisters promised to give them. Can't really say I'm surprised. The, the sisters slash defense forces talk a big game, but they don't actually do anything. So young, but already gaining CCV like senpais. Yeah, I mean, of course, this, this place here is going to have a lot of criticism. Been months since the Selene incident. If they joined after that, they knew what they were signing up for. If they joined before that, then they didn't. If they joined around December, which which was the voice acting ones, then they had no clue. They thought they were joining an organization that was doing well, and then the organization imploded on itself, thanks to itself, to its own mistakes. Hope it was worth it for them, but I doubt it. Being able to appeal to Japanese fan base, being a man in Niji Sanji will only get you so far. I think two possibilities there, they're, as you say, since training is six months, they signed before the Selene incident. I'm thinking they signed up dur during the December uh, call out for voice acting for actors, the quote unquote actors that they called out for in December. That's my think. I'm just being I'm just being very honest and very just straightforward with all this stuff. I think that's when they join. Because Roma's numbers have been about there for a couple of days. So at least the numbers are stable for him. Clara has dropped 100 people each time she streamed. So things are looking yikes for her. It might be a dip before, you know, going up. You never know. I'm trying to be objective as much as I can. Said in a previous post, they'd get one to two Fananas in about a week. And wow, it was actually a lot faster than that. Uh, great to see the NDF proving they'd only watch and support new livers no matter what. Uh, also, while X livers were thriving with Russell Tuber just earlier the same day, I'm all honestly, I'm all for it, honestly, just damn. Um, but yeah, who knows how it will be in the long run? No one really knows. But my hope is that at the very least, they they get supported soon and Nidhi Sanji kind of turns their their the way around and you know starts being better because that helps the talents themselves which are the ones that should be helped hollow life had their shareholders q a session and uh this person basically put it on kurosanji saying whatever Nidhi sanji is doing don't do that basically the concept of churning out vtubers non-stop has always been bad for the future in my eyes for a market to thrive you need a good balance of product and demand it's very true very true when you have too many products and people no longer buying, are you going to lose the market? Just what's happening to this new wave and VTubers in general. That's the big issue that you end up having. If you go too far with your whatever you're doing, uh, it is not going to work well for you because you are going to um, hurt yourself in the long run, which is what pretty much Nidhi Sanji's been doing. It has made itself basically the meat grinder and you know, business perspective, accelerate strategy was always has been the maximum profits in short amount of time. It's never sustainable in the long run because the market itself is limited. Exactly. If you flood the market, you're going to have a bad time. So here's a shareholders meeting. And um, of course, our respective VTuber portfolios, we realize that we are graduating from a phase of making an increase in revenue and profit by increasing the number of VTubers. Makes sense with the changes regarding the 3D live events. Even with bigger location and more staff, there will always be a limit to how you can support 
without eventually some getting some sort of end of the stick. They have strong cast of VTubers, so it's nice knowing uh, they're going more towards the route of supporting them than just, you know, putting out more. In addition, also in the latest report, it's just this interesting wording. Uh, addition regards to future debut plans is to debut diverse VTubers who develop new audiences. The wording debut... I mean, diverse and new audiences is new, and it seems very telling on their approach to market research, even if they can support them. Uh, no point in debuting more. It's just to take viewership, collab sponsorships, meet and greets, uh, solo lives, and other opportunities from existing talents. So it seems like they're only debuting if they found talents that are unique and bring new audience and opportunities, or if they need reinforcements for various reasons. From the latest shareholder Q&A session with Cover, they seem to indicate that going forward, new debut will be limited and the new focus will be maximizing the appeal. Uh, exposure, marketability. It's very smart. Very smart on a business perspective. There'll be new debut expected this year, but perhaps uh, moving forward after the frequency must be re must much reduced on plan of this year, page 26. Conoco says we will disclose the details in the press release for users in the future. But this year, in addition to expanding our content and business distribution on overseas users, we are planning some larger scale projects in Japan we have done so far. Moreover, we plan to debut several new VTuber units. In preparation for those plans, we plan to launch a new IP in Japan and overseas. On long-term profits, which is of course something that they're looking for, everybody is looking for, respect to VTuber portfolios, we realize that we are graduating from a phase in making uh, increase in revenue and profit by increasing the number of VTubers. Instead of that, we are considering expanding the scale of revenue from the whole business by expanding the degree of recognition per VTuber IP and increasing profitability. So they're going more for per VTuber IP now. So they're, it's like per VTuber gains of money, per VTuber gains of profit. You know, that's what they're going for now instead of just, you know, having the VTubers, uh, you know, more and more and more pop out. And we have a continual uh, shareholder thing asking about potentially increasing the prices of merch. Uh, Cover Corp says, we think there is room for paid users considering recognition of the whole. So we wish to avoid development in which the marketing area will be trivialized by raising prices terribly for existing paid users. Accordingly, we have impression that we should gradually consider raising the prices in the future while seeing a pace of a rise in prices in the whole world owing to fluctuation in prices and exchange rates. So they will only raise it from what I'm seeing when exchange rates make it so that they have to or you know, other market forces like infl inflation, things like that. To have to so they're being extremely smart in everything that they're doing but of course investors want more money but i'm glad that cover is pushing back going on a separate note with usan unnamed who used to be yugo uh changed his bio to support hollow tempest vg 3d uh, it says this community is young and we are learning every day so let's go together by the way 3d reveal for hollow boys let's go so yeah uh unnamed is a person who is very very supportive of everybody supportive and they are supportive in general of vtubers but uh they're very supportive of friends which is great it's great to know usana neo thank you now that i think about it russell tuber was an elaborate way to promote their stars 3d to the rest of the community battle winning and losing only made it legendary grow oh yeah because he won and then lost uh good on stars management for agreeing to take part in the event after he ring the hell out of battle seems fair thankfully doki uh gave them the belt so he's not vince mcmahon yet they kicked battle's butt in lore accurate way so there's support of the five minute champ, the rest of the gen. On a side note, the rest of Tempest will get 3D while it's still waiting for Luxium to debut theirs. Uh, seriously, are they offering Luxium the wolves uh, to the wolves after any color release their quarter four? Like, yeah, Usan the goat, Usan the goat. Of course, I'm also uh, going to mention the rest of Tuber stuff. This is Yuko Yure, a person that I had watched before in Idol uh, and had been here since uh, 2022, uh, November 20th of that day. And she is, you know, Yuko debut on Idol. Isekai, uh, you know, Idol EN, just a good streamer, a fun streamer, good personality, can be very unhinged, you know, all that kind of stuff. And this is their, uh, you know, Wikitubia in regards to this. Uh, she is a second wave along Rin Penrose, Fuyo Cloverfield, Pochi Wanmaru, and Juna Unagi. You know, doing a lot of fun stuff, just being fun in general. Uh, this is also the um, Yuko Yure's, uh Twitter and from there we have Idol's announcement which is a sad announcement because it is a graduation announcement. Dear fans, we are sad to announce the graduation of Yuko Yure from Idol. Respecting her wishes, Yuko will host her final stream on May 31st of 2024. So it's at the end of this month pretty much. It is unfortunate as of the recording of this, it is 4 days from now. It is very unfortunate that they decided to graduate, but of course Idol is respecting their wishes. 
following a five-day marathon stream starting today on her YouTube channel. So starting today, there's going to be five-day marathon. Yuko has worked hard to complete her Donathon goals with some scheduled for release shortly after her graduation. Yuko has been an incredibly cherished member of Idol, and we have treasured her every moment working with her. Her contributions to Idol have been invaluable, and we are saddened to part ways. We wish her nothing but the best in all her future endeavors, knowing she will shine brightly wherever she goes. She absolutely will. And of course, people responding with, man, I never thought I would come to this, but wish her the best in her future endeavors. This is how an agency should handle the graduation. Absolutely. Idol so far has done uh, good graduations so far, even with the Pochi Wanmaru thing, which was a little bit messy to begin with, but it ended on a good note, which is something you always want whenever there's issues. I uh, can't say I didn't see this coming, uh, but it's still upsetting to see it like this. Sad, I can't say I didn't see this coming. Hope her best forward. Maybe she was, you know, starting to get a little bit tired. Maybe she wanted a bit of a break. And being part of a large agency like Idol can uh, prevent you from having a lot of breaks. So I definitely understand the fact that maybe she wanted to uh, take a little bit of a breather in regards to everything. And of course, she says certain a spicy ASMR. She's doing uh, posted on her YouTube channel recently. And of course, looking at her YouTube channel because I want to show every part of of her to give, you know, the, the full breadth of everything. She had 232k subscribers. So she wasn't hurting for subscribers. It's not that situation. It's more of a personal thing is my guess. Uh, it says, you know, she was she was getting good views on all of her stuff. Uh, you know, all of her ASMRs, all of her Yuko watches, all of her things like that. She was getting good views on her um, on her streams overall. It wasn't anything like that, I don't think. Of course, it is not good to speculate on the graduations per se. It is just respecting what they want. And I wish her the very best moving forward. VTuber is going through some personal stuff. They mentioned here, uh, 5 p.m. She refuses to have me back. I'm a child of an expat that relies on father's sponsorship to keep her residency. Mother plans and canceling my visa and reporting me to the authorities. That is really messed up. That is absolutely messed up. Um, like threatening visas for whatever reason. I don't care who you are. That's really messed up. I'm going to need a lot more context on the situation. That's messed up. I hope she's okay. Someone here is saying that they didn't even know that visas can get canceled like that, especially children. Uh, quickly Googling visa cancellation conditions, most provided doesn't even cover situations where you requested visa cancellations. It's all about revocation due to non-compliance that the, the mother's probably going to try to go for non-compliance in some way. Oh, that's sad. Hope you get a good start. Try to support you. Uh, I got you. Sorry. You guys have experienced this kind of situation. Uh, Ozzy as someone who's bad experiences with their parents. I'm so angry at your mother right now. Um, contacting your country's embassy is probably the best option. Call and ask them for any advice before you go. To help you get visa depending on the situation, just make sure you tell them every single detail. Not sure what country you're currently residing in, but I suggest also contacting your country's embassy if there is one. They might be able to give you legal aid and help settle you with a visa depending on the situation and how long you've been there. So yeah, they have this thing. They, they did get kicked out and it does suck. I hope that they have a better situation. This is Azilote, Axolotl VTuber. They are uh, unfortunately suffering this big situation. And to just give a little bit of... Uh, you know, extra uh, additional info here for the person. The reason why the post was unavailable before is because they protected their account. They um, are making sure to protect it because, of course, you know, they probably have been getting bad uh, information, bad stuff, bad things, um, you know, that type of stuff. I just want to make sure that they're doing okay. It's just, you know, hopefully they're doing fine and they are, you know, not suffering too much and hopefully this all gets fixed i really hope the best for them people are wondering if the what happened with the clippers what happened with the clippers in the whole situation uh change your stances over time ask these questions because most people focus on actual livers instead of the clippers uh most of them dropped didi sanji on mass because they don't want to be part of a a sinking ship almost all clippers dropped them some publicly some stopped doing it suddenly some dis diminished their clips over time until they stopped there's only a handful of the gn clippers left and they have here uh, something never meant to hurt anyone it was a joke and I clipped it as a joke and I never intended to get anyone harassed or hurt. I feel so responsible for what happened. I really apologize to everyone. This is a Gavis Bet, a, a Vanta, a Vanta Crow clipper. Uh, some of them even got flamed for clipping. Switch for clipping for a variety of VTubers. So dropping Niji wasn't too big of a deal. I am clip heavy fan except for events. I really never really got into Nidhi Sanji's fear of clippers except for some clippers who did TSB and some others. Nidhi Sanji have surprisingly little dedicated clippers for some reason. Like Face Connect have many dedicated clippers without any corp endorsement since forever and company like Bombs have taught tier clippers when Pikame was there. Exactly. We did have some bat s crazy clippers and Hollow Hollow Life Moment guy who did some ultimatum during the Taiwan incident. Yeah, there are some people who are very, very strange. Uh, there might be some who would just do that, but the S-Clips suicide their channels, yeah, they, they basically had damaged their channels if they try to go too far. 
this is your short meme break for the day, just to make sure that you guys get a little bit of memes here. This is a meme because, you know, just in the waiting room, she got 1.5 Fananas. Look at this power energy EN, crave so much. Sharky always win. Yeah, especially since, you know, Shark didn't, um, didn't stream for a bit because, you know, they're doing a bunch of stuff. So Kingdom Come Deliverance is right here. Who would win multiple VTubers from EGN or one silly shark? Of course, shark won. Shark Lobby is 2.25 Fananas with 10 hours to go. But this is not a hollow sub, so we don't need to start bringing her into every single time. Of course, it is the shark girl who has over 4 million subs. So, of course, she's going to have a lot of people. So, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's more of a meme than anything. Bruh, wrestling isn't rigged. What do you mean? Doki laugh. What if you wanted to win WrestleTuber 2024? But God said, Usan. <laughs> Very true. Undertaker son with surprise entrance yoinks battles uh belts with everyone's surprise face right here. Usan in the background. I love these things. I absolutely love these things. Holy crap, that's amazing. I love people being able to to make these types of things here. And of course, giving some um a little bit of you know credit to everybody here. This person Kuon did it right there. You know, it's like <laughs> battles like, oh no. Yeah, love it. And then it's like, bro, what the F is happening? Yes, Usan came in there. And yep, they are the next evolution. Watch their music video. Of course, watch the music video of Usan. They're, they're doing great. A uh, next evolution of human. Uman. A massacre. That's what. That's exactly what's happening. The massacre happened, of course. And the final thing is, of course, a uh, surprise challenger at WrestleTuber 2024. The 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 motorboating. <laughs> Mint motorboated Matara, of course. That's the that's that's another thing I wanted to show you guys. Uh, and here it says Kiwi. That's not a meme. That's just P. I know, I know. <laughs> yes, Lucky Mint, of course, Lucky Mint. And that's your little mint meme break for you guys. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.